Micah and Cher, I did speak with some student athletes out here today. They did not want to go on camera, but tell me they're very upset by all of this. Extensive testing on LeBron James Jr. Bronny should give doctors some answers. Bronny James. He's a teenage athlete with unparalleled pedigree. Basketball player LeBron James Jr., known as Bronny, is the eldest son of NBA Uber star LeBron James. In a stunning development, the 18-year-old collapsed on the court Monday during practice at USC. The James family says he suffered cardiac arrest, and witnesses say the young man was unconscious when medical experts arrived and then rushed him to the hospital. A heart attack in someone so young sends shockwaves through a community. KTLA reached out to a cardiologist for insight. Cardiac arrest means that your heart had an electrical short circuit. And if you get the wrong type of short circuit, your heart can stop pumping and people can die. And the, the key important thing about cardiac arrest is not what caused it, but to save the person, you have to shock them back to life. And that's why we, we always say if someone really has cardiac arrest, we want to have that defibrillator so we can shock them immediately so that their heart can come back to life. Because if you go more than five or six minutes in cardiac arrest without having that shock therapy, the likelihood of survival gets really, really low. Bronny's parents are now sending their deepest thanks and appreciation to the USC medical and athletic staff, specifically mentioning, quote, incredible work and dedication to the safety of their athletes. Bronny is certainly not the first young athlete to suffer cardiac arrest during play. A number of different factors could be the cause, from genetics to the sporting environment. At least for the general public, Bronny's case is still shrouded in mystery. A lot of these things are screened when we screen for high school and college athletics. We do EKGs, we do ultrasound tests on their heart. So we can often pick these up and then these athletes are given recommendations whether they can practice or not. Sometimes certain things can be missed, you know, in athletic screening. So this is where they're going to take their time, do four or five different tests and really identify what happened so that we can prevent this from happening again. And the James family says, quote, we ask for respect and privacy, and we will update the media when there is more information. Live at USC, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.